This is Santesh Kalada and today in this tutorial, I'll show you how you can create AI based images or AI images using NA10 and OpenAI. So before I show you how to create this, first of all, let me just quickly show you what's the output that we'll get. See how this automation works is you submit whatever type of image you want to generate through a form and within two minutes, NA10 will mail you with the image. So this is how it would look has mailed me with an image. This is an AI based image which I generated. A horse playing football with an elephant. So that is something that I created and I received an email like this. Now let me just quickly show you how to start creating this. So first trigger would be we need a trigger. For that we will be using an on form submission trigger. So we'll just go here, click on form and under NA10 click a trigger, click on on new NA10 form event. That is what I have added here. I'll just unpin this for the time being. And here I have given a form title, open AI image generation. What would you like to generate? And I have made it a required field. And no other changes. Now, if you want to see how the form would look, go to this production URL and copy this URL. And in fact, I'll open it in the new tab and show you. See, what would you like to generate? So whatever image I want to generate, I'll give it here. But anyway, I'll explain all this thing and then I'll show you how it works. We need to add an HTTP node. Okay. So for that, just go to this HTTP here, search for HTTP request, add it here. Okay. And then drag a connection to that particular node. And you can rename it. Click here and rename it as create image. This is just for your reference. And please do not worry. Like if at all you're not able to copy paste or not able to type all these things. This template is available completely for free inside my school community. I'll give a link to my school community in the description of this video. So you can just download this template and go open your N8 instance. And here you have an option to import from file. Just import the working one. Okay, so under create image HTTP node, the method should be post and the URL should be this one. api.openai.com slash v1 slash images slash generations this should be the url just switch on this send headers option and select the option using fields and the name should be authorization and value should be your api key and to get your api key just go to platform.openai.com and the make sure that you are registered for an account and once you are in your profile Go to building and make sure that you have added here, added some amount here. Okay, so the minimum recharge is somewhere for five dollars. So make sure that you have recharged it for at least five dollars. If you recharge it for five dollars, you'll be able to create tons and tons of images. I think each image generation cost you somewhere around 0.15. So that means that you can create somewhere around 300 to 400, 300 to 500 images using five dollars. So just make sure that you have researched it for at least $5 and next go to API keys and under API key make sure that you are creating one new API key. Just create an API key, give a random name and click on create secret key and once you have the key, put it here, that particular key put it here. Then next in the send body, toggle this option and here body type select the option JSON and specify body using the fields below and model should be GPT image one. Because this is the most advanced AI image generation model from OpenAI. Of course, in, in NA10, there is an option to generate images using OpenAI. See, if I just go to OpenAI, there is an option called generate an image. But see, that gives you option for these two models only. That is DAL E2 and DAL E3. See, these models, to be frank, I personally do not find that to be useful very low quality images but if you are using the gpt image generation model the quality would be really really high model should be gpt dash image dash one and prompt prompt should be whatever your see you can just see, prompt should be whatever input you have received from this in my case the input is this one okay. what would you like to generate so that I, I have just dragged and dropped it to here. Okay. So if you do not have this field, just test run this for one time. And then you can drag and drop it here, this particular field. Okay, I have dragged and dropped it there. 
and size I have given it as 1024 into 1024. If you want images to be generated in a different size, like you can add it here. And of course, another option would be in this form, you can add another field called image size. If you want, you can actually collect the image size as an input from the user as well. That is basically done. And the problem is that, see, this particular node, it won't directly give you an image as an output. It will give you a base 64 string which is actually an image say the string would be something very long like this you need to convert this into an image so for that i am using another node called convert to file and in convert to file you have an option called move base 64 string to file select this one and add it here and input field should be see this one this is the input field that is the output from the previous node i have just dragged and dropped it here that is the input field and yeah that looks good and output in the field it would be data and here mime type it would be image slash jpeg okay so with this the image generation is actually done now to see if you want you can actually you can make it to upload it to google drive Otherwise, you can make it to send you an email. So, I have added a Gmail node, send message Gmail node. That is, here I'll just search for Gmail. And here you have an option called send a message. That is what I have added here. Then, I have selected my Gmail account. See, if you do not have your Gmail account connected, I actually have a video where I show you how to connect your Gmail account to anything. And I'll give a link to that video in the description of this video. So please make sure that you are connecting your Gmail account to NAT. So I have selected my Gmail account here. And to address, I have given my another email address. Subject, your image is generated. Then please find the attached image. In the options, make sure that you select the attachment option. Add attachment. And since our data field is called data, I will use the same name here. And here, append NAT attribution. I will just select that and switch it off otherwise under each of your email it would be written as sent from anything i do not want that so it is as simple as that with this the automation is actually finished now let me just do a test i'll just save this and what i'll do is what would i like what would you like to generate i'll write a cat and mouse playing in a paddy field and I'll click on submit your response has been recorded so now what is going to happen is that within two minutes I am going to receive an email with the image just check my email as of now I haven't received the email maybe I'll go to workflow and see the it is still running okay that is why it hasn't completed so in most cases as you can see it takes somewhere around like one to two minutes to get completed so what i'll do is i'll pause this video for now and once this running is completed i'll show you the output and now it seems like the running has completed that is in 48 seconds it has completed now let me just quickly go to my email see here, your image is generated now let me actually see the image see here a cat and mouse playing football in a paddy field okay now this looks kind of like a painting of course if you if i give the prompt something like an ultra realistic image of a cat and mouse playing football it would look very nice but again this is actually a good image only this is basically how you do this and I hope all of you like this video as I mentioned earlier this particular workflow is available for completely for free inside my school community so I'll give a link to my school community and in the description of this video and meanwhile if you face any issues just let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer your queries over there. and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you and have a great day